you know, a few years ago, you know, Branch's back was considered a weak point. You know, I started training him on the back back then, and we literally hit it from every angle possible. I mean, we did everything you can imagine for back, uh, including deadlifts. And, uh, you know, it was a brutal workout, but after about a year of doing it, you know, the results spoke for themselves, and you, you didn't hear anybody complain about his back. As always, Branch likes to start out with lat pull downs. You know, he'll go up to a really, really heavy weight. Um, you know, sometimes 300 pounds plus a 45 pound plate stacked on there, pretty high reps. And uh, in reality, you know, pretty good form on that really too. You know, in, a, in most cases, he'll, uh, he'll do them fairly strict, bring that bar all the way down to his chest. Uh, that particular movement has really added some witness to and thickness to his back. One that he loves is a just an old basic uh, T-bar that I welded together about three years ago. You, uh, it's, a, it's a supported one. You're up off the ground. Um, I think this particular machine did more for his back development than any other machine in here. That uh, you know, he gets on there, he'll stack. I mean, up to six, seven plates on there. It's out in front of you. You're not using any legs at all. It's very, very strict. I mean, it's all back. I mean, if you're doing six, seven plates on there, I mean, even if you're doing five plates on there, it's a, it's a lot of weight. Uh, not many people can do five plates on there. Not many strong people can do five plates on that particular machine and do it right and bring that bar all the way up. And, uh, I think that one movement has probably changed his back development more than anything. He does that every single workout. But that's a real, real important part of his back training arsenal, the T-bar supported row. My favorites is the dumbbell row. One week out, still doing the 200-pound dumbbells. So you know, he's a very powerful athlete and uh, very explosive as well. You know, we go up to real heavy weights on that. You know, we actually have dumbbells that go up to 300 pounds there. I don't believe he's ever quite got to the 300s, but I'm pretty sure he's got up to the 250s. <laughs> Explosive movement, the way it's done, uh, it really works the round boy to the upper back. You go all the way to the floor to pull that lat out as well. You know, there's different techniques and different ways of doing it. Some people pull that weight up really high. Some just barely hit their waist with it. No matter how you do it, the dumbbell row uh, to me is a must-do uh, movement for bodybuilding. Next, they did a movement uh, we call, I call it the Corey Matthews pull down. Corey's an IFBB pro out of here. Started doing these a few years back. You just put an incline underneath the lat pull down. It's a stricter movement, more isolated. And, uh, you know, we got a mirror right in front of us so you can kind of look at yourself and really see those lats working. You know, in bodybuilding, you know, it's really important to envision that muscle working. And, uh, you know, that one there, you can't do a whole lot of weight because it'll lift you all right off that. Off that uh, of that incline bench, so you, know, you have to be, it's just a stricter, uh, a stricter, more concentrated movement. Uh, then the last thing I did was a, it's a, uh, just a basic uh, select rise stack T-bar movement uh, that really works a lot of rear delts as well. Uh, you, know, you just got to really concentrate to bring your whole back into it, and that uh, pretty much finished up his workout for the day. You know, but you know, with that him, it's just another day in the office. You know, 
uh, you know, one thing with Branch, it's always business when he comes to the gym. He doesn't talk, he doesn't say anything. You know, he drives about an hour to get here. I think he drinks about three cups of hot black coffee and uh, walks in. He doesn't even say hello to me. He just goes out there and starts tearing things up. And then he leaves it, and uh, I have to clean up the mess afterwards, which is sometimes not so much fun. But uh, <laughs> anyway, we love Branch. We love Johnny. We wish him the very best at the Europa. And uh, God bless you all. We'll see you there. Adios.